How do we do this bit? This is the bit that... Um... Well, hello. Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to Solar Explorer New Dawn. So, Solar Explorer New Dawn, it's a modern take on a classic physics-based lunar arcade video game. So you're going to master the challenges the worlds of the inner solar system pose and help humanity become a space-faring species. Well, that's probably what I'm meant to do. Whether that's going to uh, work or not, who knows. Right, so... Let's go for the tutorials first of all because I'm playing this totally blind and if I go in and play the game without doing tutorials, it'll be Shirley Rocks, you don't know what you're doing. Why didn't you do the tutorials? So, map navigation. Okay, this is a solar map screen. Here you can see your progress and choose the world you want to play. Seems simple enough. Enter a world to see mission specifics and start the actual missions. Okay, that's easy enough. Right, lander configuration. Ooh, shiny. This is a lander customization screen. Here you can see all the details regarding your lander craft. Choose different engine, tanks, and and configure the supply loads. So I don't know if this is going to be like the uh, Kirby Space Program. Uh, Kerbal Space Program, sorry. Ooh, that yellow one looks sweet. Okay, so you've got to navigate on the map. You've got to choose your configuration. Right, what about this thruster setup then? How do you do this? Okay, this is the most probably the most important mode. Here you can choose thruster types. Adjust thruster heights. And angles. This configuration that directly determines how your land will, will respond to controls. Experiment with different configurations to get to master. Or simply hit the yellow button. The system will set up a safe... Ah, oh, yes. Yellow button for the win. Right. So, this game is all about approaching planets and landing. So, this is going to be... So, we have to, I, I assume we have to follow the green line. Entry stage is all about keeping in that line. Use sign thrusters to keep the lander within the direction. Yeah, this is going to end badly for me, isn't it? Okay, so that's entry. Right, approach. Descent stage is about slowing down and keeping a direction. So it's again, it's slowing down and keeping in the lane. And what about landing? This is it, the landing stage. Use side thrusters and the main boost to slow down completely. And maneuver the lander onto the landing pad. For a soft and beautiful landing. Well, that's how it's supposed to go. Now, let's see in reality how it really does go. Dwarf Cavern presents. I automatically go into film intro mode. Year is 2047. Earth is overpopulated and resources are scarce. Humans must become a spacefaring species if they are to have a future. The best of us are sending humanity back to the moon. But this time, we stay. Surely the moon's worse than the Earth. I'm sure there's better resources on Earth. Mission New Dawn is the first step in our attempt to colonize the solar system. Okay, okay, we got this. We is gonna land on that moon. We're gonna live on that moon. Okay, so here is my rocket. Wait a minute. Am I not controlling any of this? So we're on liftoff stage. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful, look at it go. Oh. 180 kilometers an hour, 250. Oh, yes. We're reaching orbit. Actually, we're not reaching orbit, are we? We're going to break the atmosphere first. Oh, yes. Nice. Look at the speed we're going now. Nearly 3k. Okay, we're coming up to the first booster engine uh, separation stage. Here we go, boosters disconnected. Are we gonna... Yeah, there we go. And 
and we are on the way to the moon. That's so easy to do. No wonder SpaceX wants to uh, go into the moon. New Dawn Solar Explorer. So it does seem like a good mix of um, creating your different units and landing. So I'm, I'm interested to see what I'm limited to with parts wise when I do actually get to land. Now, will I, I wonder if I will immediately control this ship now that it's just launched. We'll see. I hope it teaches me the controls. Oh, it looks all nice and chill. Sounds nice and chill now, doesn't it? Listen. Okay, this is gonna manual control in four, three, two. Okay, entry stage about keeping your speed low and direction true. Okay, are you gonna take teach me how to use the side thrusters? Okay, it's left and right. Left and right, see it. Whoa! Let's get back in the stream. Back in the stream. Okay, so I'm following this line in the middle. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Oh, no, no, no. Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Oh, no, 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 no. Ooh, I've damaged some of my ship. <laughs> We're down for the count. Houston, we have a problem. What? We're still, we're still going to try and land it. This is just insanity. This is insanity. I think it's because the controls are reversed. It's confusing me. Right, we've got a jolt to the left coming. Okay. My ship is not in good condition. I hope my uh, frozen f fish fingers are not damaged. Oh, what I feel this is getting narrower. Right. Manual control in two, one. Okay, this is the bit. How do we do this bit? This is the bit that... Um... Um, yeah, that didn't really work that well. The fact that it didn't tell me what the main booster control was, that might have uh, helped matters. Let's have a little look. It didn't, it didn't tell me the controls. That is ridiculous. Right. Keyboard. What are the actual controls, though? Oh, okay. Maybe I should have done this before. So, left thruster is A and D, which I did. Main booster. You press them both together. Oh, my days. Why did I not think to do that? Press them both together. Uh, or left and right arrows on the keyboard. Mm, right. I guess we're going to gonna have to start again. Oh, that sucks. It, it best not make me go through all this intro again. No, I've just pressed escape. I think I've skipped it. Yeah, cause we, we ain't got time for none of all that stuff again. We're, we're doing this again. Right, disengage. Right, here we go. Watch this. There's not going to be a mark on this now. Four. Three, two, yeah, no, yes, right, here we go, yes, riding the thermals, actually, you probably don't have thermals in space, we're riding the space race, oh, yeah, just teasing you, you think I'm going to go out, but no, no, I'm not, look, oh, no, I am, I am, oh, well, it's going wrong again, it's going wrong again. I was I was too cocky, right? We've not we've not damaged it too much. We've got a bit of a bit of a burn mark on it. Right, we'll skip out of this bit. Okay, here we go. Going down, Mister Tyler. Right, I'm just gonna try and keep this on the straight and narrow. Okay. Oh, slalom. Nice. Pretty pro. Pretty pro. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. Right. So now we need to do the thrusters. Okay. Main thruster. The main thruster was on then. Wow. Okay. Let's try another go. I don't know why that thruster did not work then. I was holding that down with all my might. Maybe I need to use the uh, other controls as well. Okay, we'll see. 
Right, we are going to take control again. Okay. Oh, you can oh, you can do the booster while... Oh, that's just insanity. I can do the booster now. Look at my speed going up. Ooh, no, that's too fast. That is too fast. That's too fast, but I can't stop doing it. Right, we're, we're up to 166 now. 167. Oh, no, we've come out. We've come, ooh, saved it. Saved. Now, can I, maybe I can slow down in this mode. We didn't try that last time. Yeah, look, we can slow down in this. Which, it does say danger slow down in massive letters, which I just completely ignored. Okay, so we need to slow this down. I don't know how much by, though. Right, we're, we've slowed down nicely now. We're at 43 kilometers. Okay, manual control. Okay. Right. We've sort of sorted it. I appear to not be float I appear to not, not to be falling down now though. Um Well it's gonna make a nice landing. Are we gonna eventually drift down gracefully? Oh, it's, it's so hard. This this is harder than the other bits to keep it keep it straight. Oh, here we go. Oh, what a thing of beauty. Hopefully that's going to count. I'm not changing alignment or anything. Oh, no, we're low fuel. <gasps> did we? Come on, please say that's car. Yes, <laughs> we did it. <laughs> nice. I assume, I'm hoping that is next. Right, everyone's alive, that's what matters. Wow, that was, that was stressful. Okay, we're now on the moon. Welcome to my moon base. So, what can we do on here then? Supply depot, status active. 10 colonists, resources, food and water. In order to establish a strong colony and a presence on the moon, we first have to build up our basic supplies. New tour of colonist workers will be arriving soon, so we have to make sure our food and water supplies are not something that we have to worry about. Remember, in this case, more is better. Okay, so we've done the original one there, which is the base of operations. So now I guess we need to drop down more supplies, so... We sort of know what we're doing a little bit better now, so let's try this. Right, so... Listen up. Years of probing and exploration have brought up significant amounts of debris into the orbit. Unfortunately, it's something you're likely to encounter everywhere we go. Bad ideas tend to resonate over time. Anyway, it is what it is, so we have to make the best of, of it. We've plotted a safe course that should take you around most of it. Be on the lookout for um, debris around you and avoid it if you want to stay alive. Keep the landing soft. You don't want to get all the way down just to drop the ball right. Okay. So, it wants me to configure my um, lander now. So, it's saying I've not got enough supplies. Okay, so we've got lander segments up here. Okay, so these are, these are all the, the basic bits I've got on it. Okay, so look at the little... Oh, we saw that bit before. Uh, select one of the landing stage buttons to customise your craft. Okay. I don't really want to... Ooh. Supply load, 500 kilograms. Oh, hang on, I can do the configuration here, can't I? So what happens if I do the noob mode? So has that set my thrusters then? Thruster weight ratio is dangerously low. Warning, configuration is dangerous. Consider increasing thrust or reducing weight. This does not so yeah, that's that's not a good idea. So we can we can choose the um the supplies here. That's gonna be really dangerous when it happen too. Let's just go for the one. We've got the new, we'll click the noob thing. All right, let's just go for it. Right, so now we're going to try to land a supply ship. I really do hope it doesn't introduce rocks now. Because this was hard as any, anyway. Okay, so yeah, it is. It's introducing rocks. You've got to be kidding me. I now have supplies though. 
Okay, let's try and keep this in. If one of those rocks appears in the middle of this green lane, I am going to freak. Okay. Trying to keep this nice and straight. Almost perfect. Okay, let's spin it round. Okay. And I'm going to get ready to drop my speed right down. So let's drop my speed right down. Okay. Speed still needs to be dropping down. I think it's down. Is it down to about 40? I got it before. Right. The speed is still not down enough. Right. We're going to have to just burn hard. Oh. Oh. 20. 19. 13. Oh. 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 You know what? I think we might be safe. Let's just leave it. Yes. Perfect. Brilliant. We've got resources. We've got colonists. Pure perfection. I couldn't get any better than that. Okay, so that's uh, the two missions done there. It looks like there's another one to do. The next one is Science and Medical Station. First sort of new colonists have arrived at the base of operation safely. We now have enough resources and manpower to actually start building up the backbone of the colony. Um, the Science and Medical Station. Having this station in place will allow us to expand and become a bit more self-sufficient. So it's of vital importance that we get this one done properly. But that is for another time my friends so uh yeah if you do want to see some more of this on the channel leave a comment and uh well just leave a comment and a like let me know that you do want to see some more of this it's been popular so uh anyway that's it for now this is solar explorer new dawn i'm shirley rocks your host thank you for watching and i'll see you next time